Well, hey gang, how you doing? Jonathan here for Tailhunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report, and this is going to cover the fishing action and the news from La Paz, Baja, Mexico. Uh, we're not fishing right now, and also, well, couch time with Jonathan again. Hope wherever you are, you're doing well. Thanks for checking in, and thank you very much for subscribing. Well, you know, are you getting tired of this yet? I, I think even our cat is getting tired of us. We've been down now for almost three months. The governor, the government says that on May 30th, the quarantine in Baja Sur is going to end. What happens at that point? I don't know. We're getting tons of emails, phone calls every day. What's going to happen to my vacation? What's going to happen to our flights? Are we going to be able to fish? When are you going to be opening? I really don't know. You know, does anybody know anything right now? You know, does this sound familiar to you? You know, the governor says one thing, the president of Mexico says something else, the mayor says something else, the doctors say something else, the health administrators say something else, the business people have their own agenda, the folks that are just hunkering down in their homes have a different agenda and say something completely different. Does that sound familiar? That's exactly what's going on in Mexico. That's what's going on in Baja, that's what's going on in La Paz. I don't know any more than anyone else does. Are we going to open up on May 30th? I'll tell you this. There are a lot of hotels that are saying they're going to open. A lot of restaurants that say they're going to open, especially in Cabo San Lucas. They've actually published schedules of when they're going to be open. And a lot of them, especially some of the big chains, they say they're going to be open that first or second week of June. They're preparing for it. In La Paz, I don't know. I've talked to friends who work in the hotels, friends who are staying at home, who have some still have some connection to the hotels because nobody's working, all the hotels are closed, and they're telling me they're thinking they're going to open. They're thinking they're going to open. I've gotten no official word that any of the hotels are going to be open as of the beginning of June. Nothing official. Some of the hotels, there's nobody even answering the phones or emails, so I can't cancel reservations. I can't make new reservations. So all I've got is the unofficial word that hotels are going to be opening in Cabo San Lucas, in La Paz, but less so in La Paz. As of right now, everything's still shut down. The beaches are closed. Public areas are closed. All the schools are closed. In fact, they thought they were going to be opening up June 1st. The governor is now saying that he's probably going to cancel the rest of the school year. Not even sure what they're going to do for the summer agenda. Not sure what they're going to do for the uh, fall uh, school year. So that's up in flux. And let me tell you, you know, I, I know it seems like I'm doing these later and later every single week. Well, here's what happens. I start this about two or three days ago. I'm just about ready to go. I'm ready to do my fishing report. I'm ready to post up my video and things change all of a sudden. I start doing it again and things change all of a sudden. I only do these in one take. I sit down, I, I produce it, I blah, blah, blah in front of you. And then I, I try to get it out as quick as possible. But before I can even get it out in the few hours between the time I record it, produce it, write it, and get it out to you, things have changed. Now here's what happened just yesterday. As I was going to put everything together, as I was writing my report, as I was, I was trying to put this together, although the governor says that May 30th is going to be the end of the quarantine, these next five or 10 days they say is going to be the apex of the coronavirus in Mexico. After that, it seems like you know, everything's gonna get better. Well, we know better than that. It doesn't just suddenly, you know, get better all of a sudden. Well, as of yesterday, as, a put, as I'm putting this together, I get a report from the governor's office as well as the health officials. And I've not seen it anywhere else. They haven't published it on any of the newspapers I'm reading. None of the Mexican publications are saying anything, but the governor's office and the health department says that they're probably not going to release the quarantine on May 30th. Other places in Mexico, because the incidence of the virus is less and it's not so prevalent, they're going to start opening up those states. But several states where the incidence of the virus is not going down, they're saying they're not going to open it up May 30th. What does that mean? It means that we're probably not going to open. And even if they do, I'll tell you what, uh, ever, ever since they've had the quarantine, a lot of people have been ignoring it. They're arresting people on the beaches all the time. People are having secret parties. The beer shortage, I don't know if you remember last week, I told you that because beer breweries were considered non-essential, there's no beer. 
The shelves are empty. People are black marketing beer. The price of beer when you can get it is about 300%. People are selling it on social media. If they can hoard it, they're selling it out of the back of their trunks. They're selling it out of their houses. People are getting arrested. People are ignoring curfews. If people start coming out, even if the quarantine is extended past May 30th, I've got a feeling that they're they're going to open up. And once things start opening up, they're not going to be able to put it back. The horse is out of the barn, so to speak. And Mexico is not like the United States. There is no unemployment for the most part. There is no, uh, what, are they, what do they call that check we're getting? I can't even think right now. The, uh, the stimulus check. There's nothing like that coming in Mexico. And here's the big thing. Most people in Mexico, up to 60% of the folks, aren't even on the records. They're not on the books. They work independently. They work on a cash basis. They sell things in the street. They sell things in a stall. They work on a day-to-day -day basis, hand-to-mouth existence. They're not in anybody's roles. They're not paying taxes. So there is nothing for them without working. And they've got to get back to work immediately. You know, it's really strange to say is, you know, we talk all the time, man, I'm starving. You know, I, I haven't eaten all day. I didn't eat breakfast today. I'm starving. Well, right now in Mexico, it's, it's really weird to say, but we know people personally that are starving. They do not have food. They've got to get back to work. We want to get back to work. Please, everyone who writes to us, everyone who contacts us, we want to get back to Mexico, want to get back home, want to get fishing as soon as possible. We need to work as well. There's folks down there who need to work because they have zero food in their houses. So it's a little different down there. They're anxious to get back. They really, a lot of them don't even understand what's going on. A lot of them, I'll tell you what, I'm still reading newspaper articles where they are thinking that this is still a hoax, this is still a conspiracy by the government. Of course, people in the United States think that too. They are attacking healthcare workers, saying that the healthcare workers are spreading the virus. They're attacking some of the government officials that are out there trying to sanitizing and the government officials are going hey that's it we're not going to sanitize anything else anymore it's too dangerous out there people are attacking us so people want to get back as of right now the official word is april 30th or i'm sorry may 30th the quarantine is going to end the next couple days stay tuned because i think things are going to change again and we'll know whether the government is going to extend the quarantine until then I don't know much more than you do. About the fishing, I think the fishing's gonna be great. Once we get back, there's been no traffic on the water. No one's been fishing. There's tons of bait. There's fish all around. The fishing's gonna come back. We're anxious to get there. My captains are chomping at the bit. There's some of the folks that really, really, really need to, need to be working. So I think the fishing's gonna be good, but think about it. What's the new normal going to be like in Mexico? We all come down. Fishing is what brings us down there, but we come down for more than the fishing. We wanna go hit the beaches. We wanna lie out by the pool. We wanna hang out at the, the pool bar. We wanna go eat some tacos. We wanna go out at night. Wanna hit the clubs what's that going to be like even if they open up that first week of june it's going to take a while to get the the protocols down for sanitation are we going to have to have social distancing do we have to fish with you know masks on i don't know you know as much as i do i'll try to do my best to keep you informed but that's what's going on right now down in la paz Thank you for, sh for checking in. Please, please, please take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. God bless. Thank you for checking in. Please subscribe. This is Jonathan for the Mexican Minute. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. You take care. God bless.